Hi, Max and Tanya here again. We're doing a product review for this contraption, which is called actually a trap bar. Um, you see them occasionally in gyms, and it's sort of an old school piece of equipment, but a lot of the stuff that's old school is great. And this is making sort of a resurgence. You see them used more and more. Um, it was originally designed for shrugs. Hold that for one second, T. It's designed to do movements like that, a shrugging motion for your traps, for right here, which is where it gets its name. But the thing is, it's, it's awfully big, and it doesn't really fit all body types. Um, I prefer clients to do shrugs with plates that have handles or with dumbbells so that the dumbbell can slide directly up and down like this and you can have a nice even angle there. Um, go ahead and step in here for one second. I'm just going to show you how to hold this. Good. Be careful getting in and out of position a little bit. Make sure your hand is centered in the middle of that piece. Some of them have different types of grips, but generally the shape that surrounds you is like a hexagon. And go ahead and do a couple of shrugs. Now the problem with this movement, again, is just that if you look at her arms, they're angled out this way instead of by her size. It makes it a little awkward. Uh, a little uncomfortable. Yeah, a little uncomfortable, exactly. And stop. But what we're going to show you today, and the point of this whole video, is the, the great use of this uh, piece of equipment for deadlifts. Um, now, it's a squatting motion, but it's called, you really technically would call it a deadlift because you're holding the weight in your hands. The, the weight's not on your shoulders when you would do a, as, as a squat would be, but actually in your hands. So she's going to demonstrate this motion, and the beauty of a deadlift is that you're working multiple muscles. It's a compound exercise. Shoulders, arms, legs, back. Everything's working to do this motion. Go ahead and do five of those. Excellent. Two more. How does that feel? I feel really balanced. Yeah. And I don't feel any stress or pressure in my low back. I definitely feel it in my legs, my quads. Mm -hmm. And no pain really anywhere else, right? No. Often in doing a deadlift, I feel the pain or the stress in my low back. Exactly, because the bar is in front of you and you have to pull to some degree to get the bar off the ground. Now you're supposed to use all legs when you're doing a deadlift, but it's pretty hard for most people when it gets heavier to keep all the pressure on your legs. But in this case, because the weight is centered in the, right in the middle of her hip, that's where the weight angle is, that she's able to keep the, the weight centered in her body, not too forward and not too much back. Go ahead and do a few more. And it's shocking, it doesn't hit my legs. Exactly. Doesn't touch your knees, doesn't touch your butt. It, it really functions perfectly as a deadlift bar. One more. Good. And stop again for a second. So keep in mind, this piece of equipment, if you see it in your gym, try it and use it for deadlifts. Um, if you don't have one, you'd like to get one, you can get them through fitness stores and through strength training um, catalogs and stuff. It's called a trap bar. And look for that nice hexagon shape. Stop back soon for the next YoMaxFitness.com product review.